action. I never go on blind dates. Oh, me neither. No, they're usually terrible. Yeah, tell yeah. me about it. One guy was out with got up halfway through dinner and walked out. Why? Well, he was on furlough and had to get back to prison. Wow. Well, you can be sure that if I leave suddenly, it's not because I'm going back to prison. Well, that's comforting. Well, of course I won't suddenly leave. I'm glad because I'm really enjoying... Oops. ...the... this chicken. Cut. Jason, what are you... what are you doing? You're not in the scene for, like, another ten minutes. It's called, um, background action. Oh. Action. It's good chicken. What do you like best about it? It's really funny. But is it the kind of chicken that you would want to eat again and again and again? I think so, but, you know, I need to know uh, what the... um, you, uh, ready to order? I think we ordered already. What was your order? We ordered the chicken. We had chicken. Oh, two chickens. We already have them. Yeah. Oh, right. Jason, gotcha. you're not supposed to come in yet. Right. I must be at the wrong table. <laughs> Action. Would you like to move in with this chicken? Well, I think so, but, you know, first I need to know how the chicken feels about me. Do you have any ideas? Oh, I think this chicken would be very... Uh, uh, you, you complimentary your... three-bean salad. <clears throat> Where does it say c waiter comes in with complimentary three-bean salad? That's the tradition of the restaurant. <laughs> You know, I never go on blind dates. Oh, me neither. You know, the, me neither. More water. Jason. I never go on blind dates. You oh, know, me this neither. Is, yeah, I mean, they're usually terrible. You yeah, know? tell Sizzling me about it. Sizzling fajitas for the both of you. Prepared at your table. This isn't going well. It's yeah, this will only take a minute. But it's not a scene about a waiter, Jason. Brother, but it can be. What, what if it's called waiter minute? Okay. Waiter minute. Um, but, Brendan, it could also be more than just the waiter. We'll work on something for you next time, but right now, the movie's about me and Melissa. Wait a minute. I, um, just had a super idea. What if, um, you came over to my house tonight for a sleepover? A sleepover? Yeah, we can play, um, games. Jason, Jason, I, you know, I don't think we should be mixing business and pleasure. Brendan, know, but, Brendan, what? it's not about that. It's, um, you know, just, um, the two of us, fun and games, sleepover... Right. Catered. I don't know. And now I have a pool. <sighs> and um, oh, um oh, hang, I have a hang glider. So you can go, um, go hang gliding. What? All right, Jason. Okay. I'll go to your house. Okay. Nope. And I'll, I'll eat your food and I'll swim in your pool and I'll play with your toys, but I will not discuss work, okay? Brendan, right. Brendan, d done. No work talk. Okay, good. This will be great. Okay. You, uh, you, can, have, um, you can have top bunk. Oh, bunk beds. Uh, what? What, do you have a brother? No, oh, that's my father. But I'll find it. I'm, I'm really good at this sort of thing. Finding smells. Yeah, I once located a three-week-old peanut butter sandwich in Brendan's T-shirt drawer just by sniffing the air outside his room. Well, you know, I once found a banana peel in the garbage just, just by sniffing the garbage. Two weeks ago, I found an apple core in Brendan's underwear drawer. Hey, I, w I once found a needle in a haystack. You win. Okay. Anyway, Eric, the reason I called, I was, um, I was wondering if you needed any help. Finding smells. No, I mean at your work, uh, at your office. I was, I was let go at my school. Paul, well, I, I am so sorry to hear that. Did you hear it? Was well, it always the good people who get hurt? Yeah, you know, it was uh, budget cuts. No, know? no, I'm asking you, why is it always the good people who get hurt? It's no big deal. No, that's, that's awful. I'm, I'm guessing. I, I've never been fired from a job myself. Wow, you're lucky. Well, so are you. Why? Uh, I, I mean, I guess you're, you're really not that lucky. Uh, I don't really know why I said that you were lucky. And unfortunately, I don't need any help here, but I do have connections. Connections? Sure, I've sold houses to some pretty important business people, uh, some, some not so pretty. Let me make a few phone calls. That'd be great, Eric. Thank you so much. No, don't mention it. Well, I'd, I'd better get back to finding my smell. Okay, well, I'll let you go. I, I mean, in a good way. I thought you knew that when I said pool, I meant it, yeah, hey. very little pool. It's all right. And at my neighbor's. It's okay, Jason. More lemonade? Oh, no thanks. No thanks. Oh, another um, cheese ball? Hey, no Fresh right. out of the can. <laughs> Four is my limit. Pigs in a blanket, uncooked? No thanks. I am stuffed Ola. <laughs> You're funny. Was it a good day, huh, Brenda? Hey, very good, yeah. Yeah. Didn't talk about the movies once. Not once, and that was great. You bet, Ola. Yeah. You bet. You know, it's funny. I was just thinking how much I like Melissa. Oh, yeah. yeah she's a great kid. She's yeah, a very, great. very good kid. She's great. Great, yeah. great yeah. kid. She's fantastic. Kid. But a yeah. bad actor. Oh, Jason. Brendan, I'm just saying, Jason. you know, she's been, um, you know, struggling lately with her work. 
Jason, look, I don't want to have this conversation right now, okay? Brendan, we need to do a different movie. I mean, the romantic comedy is dead. Nick Nolte and Julie Roberts killed it! No, it's not. Okay, well, I, I do agree with the, the... But look, no... Brendan, we should do a buddy picture starring me and you. Like Midnight Run or Midnight Cowboy or Midnight Express. Yeah, I... I what about um, two guys who uh, bust out of prison then get uh, jobs as prison guards in the same prison they busted out of? It's called irony. Forget it, Jay. I can play someone with split uh, personality. Hi, this is George. You, look, Jason, you promised... Hey, George. We... Hi. Jason. What are you doing today, George? Not nothing. Jason, you promised you wouldn't talk about this stuff, okay? And that's, that's why I agreed to come over here. Jason left. This is George talking now. Look, I'll see you. Don't leave. Jason. George. I'm going home. Oops. It's over. I'm calling my mom. Brendan, what about them sleeping over? We violated the agreement, and I, I can't... Uh, see what you did, George? Brendan hates us now. <laughs> Jason, you're giving me the creeps. Hello? Uh, hello? Is Brendan there? Jason. Y yeah. I mean, um, hello? Jason, what are you doing up at four in the morning calling my house? Sorry. Maybe I should call back. Maybe you should go to sleep, Jason. Well, I'm not really tired, Miss Small. Have you ever heard of a little thing called melatonin? Well, I have probably a different circadian rhythm than you. Barbiturates? But I've found extremely high metabolism. I'm not talking to you anymore. It's four in the morning. Did I wake you? No. No. I was just, um, sleeping. Brendan? Sorry. Brendan? Hello? Brendan? Hello? Brendan? Mom? Mm-hmm. Brendan? <clears throat> Hello? Brendan, how are you? Sleeping, Jason. It's four o'clock in the morning. I know, um, I already went for a jog. Look, I'll talk to you at school, okay? Brendan, uh, I, I just wanted to apologize for yesterday. Well, you don't forget it, just go to bed, all right? Brendan, um, are we still friends? Yes, of course, now go to bed. Brendan, one more thing. What? Um, have you seen George?